there are differences across the industries. So if you see in US, the tech industry, the retail industry, and the banking and finance industry have the most advanced data analytics teams. So till date, most of the companies used paid software. In academics, you use SPSS, a lot of banks used SaaS, for visualization you use Power BI, Tableau, etc. So these are all paid tools. Same things can be done with free tools. In Python, you have very good visualization libraries. Same is there with R. So there is a big shift towards the open source software. Second big trend that we see now earlier the data availability was a challenge. You did not have the data to analyze, right? Without that, there is no data science or analytics. Now what we are seeing, there is excess of data. So there is information overload, same for business. So we have your mobile devices, sensor, IoT. So a lot of data is coming and many of data is unstructured also. So the data size volume is increasing, the type of data is increasing. And hence to process that the old world method will not work, right? So for that, you need tools like big data, you know. So big data is a concept, the implementation is Hadoop. There are popular vendors like CloudEda, Hortonworks. So Hadoop ecosystem is going to become very important for big data. Now this is to store and get the data. But once you get the data, if the data size is more, and if you are creating complex algorithms, it's going to take time and space, right? So to take care of that, to make it faster, you are getting technologies like Spark, right? Spark with Scala will make your programs very, very fast, right? And the fourth thing that I will talk about is artificial intelligence, right? So till now, to run a data science model, you need to know this is the data, this is the problem. So this technique I have to use, right? But here, lot of new techniques are coming. You know, uh, for example, artificial intelligence there, Google has created a package called TensorFlow, right? Newer packages are coming. So these algorithms are much more sophisticated and advanced. So if a regression cannot fit a line to your data, you are stuck there, right? You probably will go for some non-linear curve or something. But using artificial neural nets, very complex kind of patterns in the data, which a normal technique cannot find, that also can be found. So open source software, big data technologies, technologies like Spark for faster processing, and artificial intelligence. These are the four trends which are emerging and will probably become more important in coming days.